इनवर्टिबल मैट्रिस इफ ए इज अ स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एम एंड इफ देयर एग्जिस्ट अनादर स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स बी ऑफ द सेम ऑर्डर एम दैट इज इफ ए इक्वल्स टू थ्री वन टू एंड बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस थ्री माइनस वन टू एंड द प्रोडक्ट ए इंटू बी टर्न्स आउट to be an identity matrix then b is the inverse of matrix a text if we have two matrices a and b such that ab equals ba equals i then b is called the inverse matrix of a and it is denoted by a inverse in that case a is said to be invertible let us have some remarks a rectangular matrix does not possess inverse matrix if b is inverse of a matrix a then a is also inverse of b if inverse of a matrix exists it is unique if a and b are invertible matrices of the same order then ab whole inverse equals b inverse into a inverse let's prove this theorem we have from the definition of inverse of a matrix ab into ab whole inverse equals i we know that ab is also a matrix pre multiplying both sides by a inverse we get a inverse into ab into ab whole inverse equals a inverse into i now on combining a with a inverse we get a inverse into a into b into ab inverse is equal to a inverse i using associative law a inverse i is equal to a inverse this implies i into b is equal to ab whole inverse which equals a inverse this implies b into ab whole inverse equals a inverse pre multiplying both sides by b inverse and on further simplification we get ab whole inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse hence proved problem solving elementary transformations or operations can be used to calculate inverse of a matrix in case after applying one or more elementary row or column operations on a equals i a or a equals a i if we obtain all zeros in one or more rows of the matrix a on lhs then a inverse does not exist let's see an example let's obtain the inverse of the following matrix using elementary operation the matrix a equals 0 1 2 1 2 3 3 1 1 we know that a is equal to i a in mathematical form this can be written as first let us interchange r1 by r2 in both the matrices now we replace r3 by r3 minus 3 r1 on applying this we get now on replacing r1 by r1 minus 2 r2 we get now on replacing r3 by r3 plus 5 r2 we get now on replacing 
R2 by R2 minus R3, we get now on replacing R3 by 1 by 2 into R3, we get now on replacing R1 by R1 plus R3, we get on the left hand side, we get an identity matrix. Comparing with I is equal to A inverse into A, we get A inverse is equal to, we can apply elementary operations on columns as well. But in a single problem, we can either use row or column operations. Both types can't be used on a single problem.